Asato ma sat kamaya Tamaso ma juti gamaya Mrityur ma amritam gamaya Om shanti 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 We seek as we take up the journey the blessings of our mother the Divine Mother, the Holy Mother, to hold our hand and take us across to the true learning. Bless us with love for Mother, love for God, love for Brahman, the supreme knowledge. Take us across to Advaita and Dvaita, Nirguna Brahman and Svaguna Brahman. Practice through Bhakti yoga, raja yoga, jnana and karma yoga. We seek the blessings of our gurus Paramahamsa Yogananda, Sri Sri Yukteswar Giri, Sri Sri Lahiri Mahasaya. We seek the blessings of Swami, Sri Vivekananda, Holy Mother Sharada, Paramahamsa Ramakrishna. Seek the blessings. May Babaji hold our hand and take us across to Yoga Kshema. Krishna, grant us the boon. Yoga Kshema. Bless us from Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara. Jai Guru. Today's session, we have been requested to share a little bit today and we shall take it on on Sunday, the Easter Sunday. Today is Good Friday to share a bit about the Jesus, the Son of God. You know something? Jesus never said, I am Son of God. The more research that we're doing, you would be amazed some of the facts of the Jesus, which very few are sort of aware. Whenever we talk about Jesus, we hear about Son of God. And Jesus never said that I am the Son of God. You know, if you compare Jesus in, in Dakineshwar, in Panchabati, when Paramahamsa Ramakrishna has attained the Nirvana and he was always in that absolute absorbed state most of the time. He was walking towards Panchavati and he saw from the other side a very fair, tall, with brilliant eyes, oozing out of love, with long hair, is walking towards him. And Paramahamsa Ramakrishna recognized him. It is in Kathamrita. In the Bengali version, page 182-187, in second volume, read, And he embraced Paramahamsa Ramakrishna and entered into him. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa has said again and again and again, when somebody is to say, you are the avatar, you bless us without you, somewhere around a similar number of pages, uh, that is in second volume, somewhere in 117, 8, 177. There were some Marwaris in staying in Calcutta went ahead and just during the Diwali doing their puja and wanted Paramahamsa Ramakrishna to come down and bless the occasion, be there, share some prasad. While doing that, the lord of the house, the gentleman who was the business tycoon, asked Paramahamsa Ramakrishna, please bless us. You are the avatar. Without you, what will happen to us? And Ramakrishna said, don't say that. I am not the avatar. I am just the servant of this God. I am just the servant. Notice he is not saying he is avatar. But again, somewhere else. And particularly, he had said it to Swami Vivekananda. He who is Rama, just about three days before he left his body. He who is Krishna, is Ramakrishna in this world. What had happened is, 
Swami Vivekananda was looking at Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and thinking that if he is really God, why is he suffering like this? He can easily heal himself. You and I would think like that too. And Ramakrishna Paramahamsa was resting and Vivekananda was massaging his feet and he just putting his hand on the body. And Paramahamsa Ramakrishna turned his face towards Vivekananda. He said these words, even now you doubt, he who is Rama, he who is Krishna is Ramakrishna. And Swami Avedananda, who stayed in United States and New York and almost for 32 years, the longest stay till date, and presented the Vedanta. See, Swami Vivekananda's primary journey has been to the world over United States and in India. He had said, I'm going to spread the word of Vivekananda, the word of Vedanta. Even though my body might die, but I'm going to work through people and spread till the time the last man on this earth realizes that he is God, she is God. That is the power of the Aham Brahmasmi of the Vedanta. Buddha said the same thing and similar principles Swami Avidananda had talked about it. I'm not diverting over here, Jesus Christ, it is connected. That, how many times he said it in a talk, and this talk is recorded in All India Radio. It is available. You can Google it and get it. That he said so many times in Bengali, that he who is Rama, who is Krishna, is Ramakrishna. How can both be possible? It will come to you. And... Jesus never said it and if you go through the apostle which he had talked about say book of Matthew Luke and you know he has not spoken about that he is the son of God he had been in Mark in Luke in Matthew not spoken anything about he's son of God. But in in Gospels of John, which was not most of us didn't know, I didn't know till I started studying, was not by Jesus. It was written almost after three years of Jesus leaving his body. And in Gospels of John it is written down that he is the son of God. So how is that possible? One in one hand he said he is the servant and on the other hand he's been son of God. In the same way Paramahamsa Ramakrishna, that's the simile I was trying to bring about. So it, the explanation is very simple that you know the Christian people uh, most of them start to argue that why is it when Mark, Luke and Matthew is not talking that Jesus is son of God and now in John he's saying Jesus is son of God. There must be some problem. And do you know most of the religious book in Islam recognizes Jesus Christ but as a prophet, not as the son of God. So does the Jews. They also claim him to be a prophet, not a son of God, except in John. And this is possible in the similar way in the Ramakrishna Paramahansa and the Avatar. What is an avatar? If you do the explanations of the avatar, avatars play these two roles. One is the role of a common normal human being and the other is the role of the God himself, the God incarnate, the son of God and like that. And that is why it is claimed as the avatar who is the incarnate, the God himself. <laughs> and a beautiful, there is one Swami Prabhupada, which is about 100 years back. You know, he was uh, being taken care of one Ishwarananda and another monk in Ramakrishna order. And Prabhupada said, listen, I'm going to share a secret with you. Please close the door. And Ishwarananda knew that he always talks like this. So he said, it's all right, Swamiji, you can speak, Maharaj. He said, no, 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 close the door. Nobody should hear. And he knew he closed the door to please the Swami. Swami 
after closing the door, he says, Do you know Paramahamsa Ramakrishna is God himself? And Ishwarananda said, Yes, I know. He said, You know? He said, Yes, everybody else also knows. He said, Really? And then Ishwarananda goes on to say something. He said that nobody cares. What I want to share with you is today, this Easter is coming up. Today is Good Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Easter Sunday. When he rose, resurrected himself. And this is the book of the resurrection of the Jesus Christ. But nobody really cares that Jesus as God or the great avatars, Buddha, Krishna, Ramakrishna. There is a monk who was approached by one of the person who was really seeking and he went down and he said, give me Samadhi. You've heard this story. Paramahamsa Yogananda also went and asked Sisi Yukteswari. Now, he was first asked uh, when he visited Tarakeshwar and there he said, Sir, would you please bless me with Samadhi? And that time, you remember page 131 to 141, and Ram Gopal Vajumdar said, I am not the one who is to give you Samadhi. You go back to your Guru, Guru will give you. And within a few days after that, he was blessed uh, by Yukteswarji, and he went into Samadhi. Vivekananda was blessed by Paramahansa Ramakrishna, and for three days, he didn't know what was happening. And this Samadhi is what this gentleman asked the monk, a very great monk in Himalaya, bless me with Samadhi. And this monk told him, Samadhi, I'll give you in two minutes. But come to me first with pure in heart. I want your heart to be pure. Now that is a big problem. And Jesus Christ, we'll talk about a little more on this Sermon of Mount. He took his favorite apostles. There were so many disciples. But he took a chosen few and went to the mount. And he spoke to them a very special instructions. Those instructions are today available. It is naturally the first thing when you want to, when you hear what are those instructions. Ramakrishna Paramahamsa often would take Swami Vivekananda and favorite of his some of his like Brahmananda, etc., Latuvaraj, to the room, close the door, and talk to them. Now, this is a trend among the avatar to do that. And naturally, people like you and me, our ears will perk up and say, What were those instructions? The beautiful part is today, the whole world is actually a super mall of religion. And you can find any religion, any details today through Google and the internet. And everything is available. And yet we do not realize, we do not understand the power of the essence of the message, or the message of Easter that we are talking about. And Sunday we shall do a little more on this. We do not realize. You know, Sister Teresa, you've read about an autobiography of Yogi about Sister Teresa. Sister Teresa, Paramahamsa Yogananda had talked about her. Her, she never used to eat. And every Sunday, and sometimes more in a week, her body would bleed on exactly those wounds where Jesus Christ had the wound. Same Sister Teresa, it is said once, it is written down. Sister Teresa once, in a vision, saw a great glowing gentleman standing in front of him. And before Sister Teresa asked him, who are you? He asked Sister Teresa, who are you? She said, I am Sister Teresa of Jesus. And then Sister Teresa asked him, who are you? And notice what he answered. He said, I am Jesus of Sister Teresa. So, whoever said that my love for you is lost, my love for you is gone, how can it ever go? Like the Chakor, who at the moonlit night, a mythical bird, who looks at the moon and keeps on singing, as long as the moon is shining. 
the same way yours and my heart knowingly unknowingly if it is doing it will if it is not doing it will and it may have been doing before maybe with our current practical so-called mind leading into the world and this physical world we are not realizing it how can that love ever die because you may forget about it but God never does and this is what Jesus in the Sermon of Mount some of them we shall cover today he says blessed are those who are pure in heart because they shall see God this purity of the heart is the Himalayan monk is talking about you know John the Baptist who baptized in the river of Jordan Jesus Christ John the Baptist was before Jesus Christ and Jesus said I want to be baptized by you and John the baptized when baptized him dumped him actually in the water and you can see there is a film called Jesus Code uh, it is there in the Netflix you could see it that how he was being beautifully filmed baptized in the river of Jordan he was really dunked totally submerged and afterwards Jesus said uh, uh, John baptized said today I baptize you with water tomorrow you will baptize people with fire and this fire is that fire which will burn all the evil from people and bring out those purity in heart for they shall see God this journey the Good Friday Jesus was deceived by one amongst his disciples he knew it in the Last Supper he talked about it one amongst you the bread and the wine that they had shall deceive me for a few silver coin and he was deceived but notice Jesus never cursed him this is called the forgiveness not only that when his head was chopped off the last words Jesus uttered God they do not know what they're doing please forgive them you would be surprised something phenomenal which I discovered which I'm certain nobody knew at least I didn't know that do you know how long Jesus preached you'd be amazed to hear Buddha preached for 45 years you know Moses preached 40 years Muhammad preached 25 years Vivekananda about 10 years you know how many years Jesus Christ preached one year and the largest religion of the world not only that if you go into the period of Renaissance those of you done history otherwise go to any museum in the European in France and England any museum you will see the entire paintings and the studies and the literature the background is Jesus Christ can you imagine what were those one year of priests as per the Gospels of John though it differs slightly and it goes on to three years but Mark Luke and in which they talk about and in Matthew that it is one year alone and yet this Jesus is born again and again and again in your and my heart once Swami Brahmananda long time back in the beginning of Belurmat not in the current temple and it was another temple they're talking about forgiveness and Jesus Christ Easter in Belurmat those of you are aware every religion is celebrated there and in great glory and the Christians around that area 
from many parts of Calcutta. They all congregate. Lakhs of people congregate on the eve of Chris, Christmas. And Brahmananda was that time the president, the first president of the Ramakrishna order. And he came down and he said, let us meditate on the presence of Jesus in our heart. As they started meditating, and it is written now, the entire group of monks and devotees who were sitting there, they all are saying something happened. They all got transported. That was the power of the direct disciple. In fact, Brahmananda used to be called and named by Paramahamsa Ramakrishna as his Manas Putra, spiritual child. And everybody transported to that feeling of the entire absorbed with Jesus. And they say they never lost that experience. It always stayed. This is called the power of the forgiveness. This is the biggest power. In the Sermon of Mount, Jesus Christ gave these kind of messages. I'll give you one more narration it comes to my mind once in Ramakrishna mission in Kashi Banaras there were certain disputes among the monks and this is quoted by no less than Swami Sarva Priyananda he is quoting it that there were some tussles and fights and there was a ringleader and and it came to the notice of the headquarter Virur Mat and Brahmananda was the president and they were thinking about rusticating, you know, you know, throwing out some of the monks and because of the not behaving as per the order of the monk and Vivekananda and Paramahamsa Ramakrishna principles and philosophy, Brahmananda said, don't do anything. And he went, he said, I'm coming. He went there. He didn't call them. He didn't talk to them. He didn't give them sermon. He didn't counsel them. He said, from this moment, sit down with me for meditation. And tomorrow morning and evening, I will come meditate with me. And you know, in three days time, everybody was transformed from their pettiness and quarrel of this is mine, that is what should be done, that is what should be done. It was totally gone and including the ringleader among the monk with permission. He maintained the Ramakrishna order of monkhood but went off to Himalaya for three years for meditation, a practice. This is how Brahmananda transported to forgiveness. And I have something beautiful, you know, which is again given in as you read the Gospels, as you read Bible. You know, after Jesus left his body, I'm not talking about the resurrection, I shall come to it. There were some of his followers, disciples, they very seriously went on to the desert and lived for months together, totally in absolute purity and abstinence. And Jesus himself, after baptized, being baptized, he went for 45 days to the desert and renounced everything. And that is the time, those of you read, that the devil came and enticed him with many things. If you look at, in Katha Upanishad, same thing happened to Nachiketa. Nasiketa went to Yamaraj. Those of you know the story of Katha Upanishad. Nasiketa, eight-year-old boy, nine-year-old boy, his father was giving away cows. But Nasiketa noticed he's supposed to give those cows everything that belonged to the king in that yagna, which is very close to him. But his father was giving away old cow, and as per the prescription, as if it has taken its last drink of water, it cannot be milked, and they were just giving real bony old cows. So Nachiketa was not liking it. So he went and asked father, father, 
who will you give me away to? A father ignored it once, twice and afterwards he got very angry and he was feeling guilty I suppose because of giving those old cows, those with cows was the gift to the Brahmins and the Rishis. He said, I'll give you to the God of death, Yamraj. And Nachiketa, as it is said, that he took up his journey. And notice, I'll not get into that some other time, but Nachiketa was given the same enticement by the Yamraj. He said, I'll give you pleasures. I'll give you thousands of wives. I'll give you kingdom. You know, apparently those thousands of wives are apparently supposed to have been those time of great honor. And yet Nachiketa did not agree to anything as Jesus did not. Nachiketa eventually got the boon and he realized what is this called death, the Nirvana as for Katha Upanishad. And not only that, the yagna that he learned, Yamraj said from today onward this yagna will be named as Nachiketa yagna. Getting back to the topic, these desert gods, they were called, they were meditating, practicing. One day, two of them said, brother, today we will quarrel as the normal human beings in the town quarrel. So the other brother said, how do we quarrel? And they had become purified by Jesus. This first one said, why? I will say this stone is mine. And you will say, no, this is mine. And this is how they quarrel outside. We will also quarrel like that. They said, okay, let's start. So the first one said, this stone is mine. And the other brother said, yes, this is yours. He couldn't say, this is mine. He came to that. If you want peace, I have a beautiful recording here. I will read it out to you. He says, if you truly want peace in your life, the four advices are given. Seek to have, the first advice, seek to have less than more. And notice this is exactly what we do. We want more, more, and more, and holding, holding, holding. If you want peace, seek less than want to have more. Next one goes on to say, seek to be last than to be first. Have you noticed we always tell our children, stand first, fry first, race to be first. <laughs> if you want peace in your life, Seek to be last than to be first. Now the beautiful, actually it happened, there was a race among the handicapped and it happened in American, one of the field, where these handicapped children with their crutches and the doubling pieces were sent for race. So they started, it was 30 meters race, a shot. They started and as they were racing, naturally one of the girls, they must be about seven, eight, nine years of age, fell down. The others were racing ahead, then suddenly they stopped. Notice, they turned around, they went back, they picked up that girl and all hand in hand raced to reach the end. Everybody in the witness stand there stood up and clapped and clapped and cried and cried. And this is what is the second advice is if you truly want your peace. The third one. <laughs> says do the will of others than your own will. What happens in our fights at home? At least sometimes you should do the what I tell you. Isn't that the fight goes on? Whereas here the advice is if you truly want peace, do 
the will of others than your own. And the fourth one is beautiful. Whatever happens, accept the will of God. God, it is thou. It is you. And this is what the Easter song goes on. It is thy will which is, shall happen. Getting back to Sermon on the Mount. Jesus Christ took his favorite apostles and he started to talk to them very powerful and these apostles as per book of Matthew there is one Swami almost hundred years ago Prabhananda Prabhananda he wrote a book called the Sermon of Mount as per Vedanta he gave the angle of the same Sermon of Mount with the meanings of the Vedanta they together and have you noticed this is why this equality this similarity Paramahamsa Yogananda he brought in Jesus Christ with Krishna you notice Paramahamsa Ramakrishna talked about Jesus Christ he practiced Christianity along with Islam and he talked about harmony of all religion that the path to God Many mind, many paths, but goal is one. Paramahamsa Yogananda wrote about second coming of Jesus Christ. I will share a little more on this on Sunday. Today, I shall share with you two things. This is the second coming of Jesus Christ. After Jesus was so called his neck was chopped off he was brought down he was taken into a cave a cloth was covered that cloth is still available and this it is there with the similar blood and a uh, huge amount of research has gone in on that without any doubt that that is the cloth which is 2000 years old but thereafter Jesus resurrected himself on Easter Sunday and then there are books and books and books and I have with the divine grace of the mother, Jesus, gurus, quite a few copies of them. They're available in Amazon.com. That Jesus came down all the way to India and traveled around India, particularly Mathura, Vrindavan. He lived a long time in late Thoys and in Kashmir, in Shridagar just 1.5 kilometer away from Jama Masjid we have been there and that must that place where he actually his body has been laid down and put it in a different angle than the Muslim supposed to be doing Jesus lived there and it said it is said very clearly there is also a film on this by the government of India, Film Division Institute of India, you can Google it and it's there in a YouTube. Here I'm referring to Paramahansa Yogananda. Notice here, if you read, I will read out in the volume two, in the list of illustrations. He is talking about in the 46 if ye shall have faith nothing shall be impossible unto you and this is what is the Jesus is teaching this is what Paramahansa Yogananda is saying that if you have faith in God nothing shall be impossible to you in the Vedanta we talk about in the theistic religion this is
is generally difficult in today's world because people, people say, show me proof. I want to, in the Advaita Vedanta, it is very simple. He said, do you have any doubt that you exist? God exists? There is always. We have spoken about it a lot. I wish to show you one picture, which is proudly Gurudeva Paramahamsa Yogananda got this done, painting done by his brother. Now this, many people say that this is an Indian eyes picture of Jesus Christ. It is not so. And people say, no, Jesus Christ never sat down like this and prayed. It is on the contrary. If you go ahead and look at the paintings done by Michelangelo and at the similar time in the Renaissance period, you will see there are many paintings done of the Jesus and his disciples. They are all sitting on the floor and he is sitting similarly on the floor or sometimes on the stone and he is giving. Seven of the Mount picture most of them shows he's sitting on a little higher area. This is the general picture of the Jesus Christ you see which in the volume one. In volume one I wish to bring to all of your notice something else which is is another Paramahamsa Yogananda is talking about in the the list of illustrations and on that list in the serial number five he is writing a special chapter the unknown years of Jesus is sojourn in India it's a huge write-up by Paramahamsa Yogananda so it is the Easter time let us finish today's sessions with two sermons one sermon we have already talked about Sermon on Mount. We should talk some more because each one of them need to be understood. The blessed are the pure in heart because they shall see God. Other sermon I'm talking about. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. What is this mourning? This mourning is not the mourning like we cry for our children, something happens to them or something happens to our relative and we cry buckets particularly for our babies and the children. We cry for our money. We cry on our sickness and the pains and aches. But in this means Jesus is talking about Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. What it means, those who mourn and know that this world is not what I want. This is not what I want. For they shall be comforted and they shall be given and taken to another world. And when we are not satisfied with the so-called the material world of the gold and the money and the food and the property and body comfort and the name and the form and body mano buddhi chitta ahankar then you shall be comforted by God alone how can God forget that love which you got eternally connected he talks about blessed are those who are poor in spirit for the kingdom of for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven this poor in spirit it means those who are humble and those who are searching it is not like those who start to say and look at the sermon, look at the talks, or the exchange of the wisdoms, or the notice of the books, and ask question to prove that I'm going to, with my question, prove that you don't know anything, and I know more. But poor in spirit are the ones who say, I may not understand what is this part. My knowledge may not be adequate. 
and what I know if it is clashing with the one which is spoken to right now let me ask question to know more and that is why I often ask please come out with the question because other people may also be asking for a similar thing but may not be wanting to ask the question so do not feel hesitant at all go ahead and ask this comforting would be the one he says blessed are those who are meek for they shall inherit the earth it's just the opposite we tell our children and the boys, go and fight it out. Go and give it to them. Nobody's going to come and give it to you and put it on your lap. Here, Jesus says just the opposite. Blessed are those who are meek for the kingdom of this. For this, for they shall inherit the earth. This earth, this world, universe will become yours if you are meek. I wish you all meditation tomorrow morning and evening and an Easter Sunday in the morning and subsequently may Jesus be born in our heart. With salutation and prayers. May we be blessed by our Gurus. Paramahamsa, Yogananda, Sri Sri Yukteswar Giri Lahiri Mahasai. May be blessed by Jesus Christ, Krishna, Babaji. Sri Sri Lahiri Mahasai, Sri Sri Yukteswar Giri Paramahamsa, Yogananda. May be blessed by Swami Sri Vivekananda. Holy Mother Sharada, Paramahamsa, Ramakrishna. May we be blessed by the supreme purity in our heart. May we be blessed by Brahman, the Divine Mother, again and again. And be aware, this awareness alone is, Turiya alone is the Brahman, is in the form of the Avatar again and again witness this earth for us to know that there is something which is far far ahead it reminds me of two statements Tolstoy Leo Tolstoy had said Sermon of Mount was made by Jesus to make those who understand it and follow it make this earth a heaven and Sigmund Freud a very famous philosopher he had made one statement. He himself was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. But he gave a beautiful explanation of the word religion. He said religion is something which is transcendental, unparalleled, unthought of, unwitnessed before, which you can through religion experience. Meditate on this. Akasha Shanti, Prithvi Shanti, Vayu Shanti, Agniya Shanti, Vanaspataya Shanti, Manaha Shanti, Chittaha Shanti, Om Uttaradesha Shanti, Dakshinaya Shanti, Paschimaya Shanti, Uravadi Shashanti Om Shanti Shanti Shanti